itself, this is the Yamaha, the player there, amplifier and pre-amplifier underneath it. And the same applies to the Hitachi. It's, uh, it's got a front loading system on it there, but again, it's just sitting on top of the uh, amplifier and pre-amplifier with a different layout of uh, buttons and controls. Pioneer, next one, also a front loader with your programming system on the side and uh, control uh, display there. Now the Akai here, perhaps we could uh, also talk about one other feature that several of them have here, and that's the ability to replay either one track or one side or even a particular phrase. And uh, once you've got the record going, that was on pause at the moment, you just press the, the uh, phrase button and it'll repeat the phrase over and over again. Technics, uh, made by National Panasonic, is another one, basically the same sort of layout with all the controls. Not a great deal of difference between all of them, actually. And here's the, uh, the Philips, which has a top-loading system, which uh, snaps down, and your controls on the top. Um, then there's the Marantz, which has its little um, loading system here. And you can take the, uh, the disc out, and you can see the laser, the actual little laser that reads the inside of the, uh, the bottom of the disc itself here, from the inside to the outside. And finally, the Sony over here, which has a uh, remote control system where you can play uh, the thing just like a TV remote control from a distance. So we'll just press in, for instance, track 11, comes up on the readout on the front there, and then the play button, and away it goes. And uh, it'll find the track, you'll see it on the, on the digital readout there, once, it's, uh, once it finds the track, it comes up and it begins. And so then if I want to change it, I can change it immediately from, from here to, say, track 9, and starts immediately to play that. They're fantastic machines, actually, and uh, I'm sure they'll, they'll do very well here. And eventually, in years to come, it's probably safe to say that the compact disc will replace the regular 12-inch long playing disc. But that's a long way off. Regular records will be around for quite some time, and the compact disc player will be just one more component, like a cassette tape deck of your hi-fi gear. But there's no way of getting around it. It'll be the best component with the best sound. Oh, and the Japanese have just announced a new version which will fit into the dashboard of the car.